Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the monthly read for the month of November 2023. This reading is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. So Scorpios, let's see what's coming in for you for the month of uh, November 2023. Let's see how we'll be adding a lot many cards here in this reading. So stay tuned and before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general reading. It may not, may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's begin and let's find out what's coming in for Scorpios. The Star, Seven of Swords, The Fool. Under the deck, we do have the Ten of Swords. I really feel like you know there is something that's um, definitely gonna hurt you a lot or maybe is already hurting you right now and you're feeling kind of like you know hopeless around something but as you walk into the month of November I really feel like you know you will start having some hopes and uh, some uh, positivity returning back to you um, you will be able to fight whatever has happened and uh, fight your inner uh, self around uh, fighting the depression fighting the negativity you will be able to come out of it i really feel like you know whatever that doesn't work out well for you you're just gonna let it go and let it be you're not gonna stay in that zone where you are right now probably you're hurt you're feeling bad something has ended something has finished and you might have felt very bad around the situation probably you you had a lot of uh, um probably you had a lot of uh, expectation from it but then it didn't work out well for you now i really feel like in the month of november you are going to choose to move on from this you know whatever it is be that a relationship connection work job you are disappointed in something and you're going to choose to move on from it you're not going to stick around and feel bad and lost and everything you're going to decide that this has happened now what so I really feel like you're going to be like picking up the pieces and moving on from that situation. So if there is a connection ending, if there is a job ending, if there is something ending which is bothering you right now, you are just going to snap out of it in the month of November. You will be taking action towards moving forward, moving on with life. I really feel like you know, it's going to be a gradual process for majority of you because I really see that initially probably you will still be having some struggles to deal with the stress that you were taking around it. But as you come towards the mid of the month, I really feel like you know, it's going to be easier for you to move forward, move on from that situation. And the things are going to start getting better between, um, you know, uh, for you. And uh, you will start feeling like, you know, it's okay. Whatever has happened, you are ready to let it go. You deserve better. You deserve something amazing to come through. So for majority of you, I really feel like, you know, you will be setting some new intentions for yourself. You will be setting some new goals for yourself to get yourself excited about it. You will be praying about around whatever it is that you want. And uh, you will be having goals which has no other person involved. So for majority of you, you probably would be getting yourself uh, committed to some um, personal growth uh, and some goals regarding your personal growth, uh, which is, again, is going to be all about you. So I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, you're going to bring your focus back to yourself, which is going to help you um, deal with, with the stress and depression that you might be having right now around something that didn't work well for you. Let's see what's specifically happening for you in your love life. What's happening for you in your love life, specifically in the month of November? What's happening for you in your love life in the month of November? What's specifically happening in your love life in the month of November? What's specifically taking place for you in your love life in the month of November? You will be setting some goals in regards to your love life. I feel like, you know, for some of you, probably things have been uh, bad um, in your love life. You're intending some uh, balance and stability in your love life. Uh, be that around a person, be that um, something that you truly desire. I feel like, you know, for a majority of you, probably um, there has been something which has been influencing your love life in a negative way. And I really feel like, you know, in, in the month of November, you might see your love life crashing because of that. Uh, you could not maintain healthy balance between love and probably that, you know, other areas of your life, which is the reason why um, your love life might have kind of suffered a big setback. Now, for some of you, I really feel like, you know, you will try to look into the things 
and try to take the matter in your hands completely and try to bring some balance in your love life. So I feel like, you know, for some of you, probably you might choose to put an end to whatever has been keeping um, or consuming your time and energy. So you could bring this energy to your love to bring your life back to balance where you have love, work, home life uh, equally and, um, you know, in a balanced way. So I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, when it comes to your love life, I really feel like you are going to be intending to bring some stability in your love life. Um, for that, if you have to put effort, you are going to be staying ready to put effort so your love life could stay happy and positive and stable. Now, for some of you, I feel like, you know, maybe because you have been showing no interest or or no, uh, you have been giving no time to your love life. I really feel like, you know, in that situation, maybe the person that you are dealing with is going to be walking away from you. And if that happens, that is definitely going to influence you in a very negative way that might depress you a little bit as well. And if that happens, I really feel like, you know, you will be tying that kind of, uh, Telling yourself in the month of November that you have to do something about it. You cannot let it happen again. So be that with the same person or be that with somebody new or you, you're going to set some intentions for yourself. Like, you know, from now onwards, you're going to make sure that you keep the balance there in your life. So your love life doesn't have to go through shit again. So I feel like, you know, for majority of you, you would be contemplating a lot and trying to figure things out for yourself. So you could maintain healthy balance between love and work. Let's see more cards here. It's going to be a hard time for you, especially because uh, you will be unable to maintain healthy balance between love and work. Let's see more cards here. We do have the world, the empress, and page of pentacles. Under the deck, we do have the sun. Wow. Now, this is amazing. I really feel like in for majority of you, you would be able um, to get the strength where you don't feel lethargic and excite yourself so you could bring balance in your love and work and home life i really feel like you know there will be some big changes coming up for you things will start working for you in your favor and um you will be able to be with someone who's going to be like um who's going to be like probably they're going to understand you for what you are doing with your life right now or probably they are going to be like um someone probably who has the same kind of life as you have so there will be like some sort of compatibility coming in for you. Um, I feel like, you know, for the majority of you, there is a connection ending, to be honest. Um, and then I really feel like, you know, there, there is somebody probably new coming in your life after that ending. I really feel like, you know, there will be somebody new coming in your life who's going to be on the same page as you are. Probably they are also occupied as you are. So they would not be having those complaints from you as your past person did have. So I really feel like, you know, somebody like uh, that is going to enter in your life who's going to be understanding of you and would be willing to um, be a part of your life in, in, um, in the moment of regret that you're having right now towards a specific someone. Now, I really feel like, you know, one connection ends and the other starts is what I'm picking up. I feel like, you know, there is somebody coming in your life who's going to be like understanding you for what, what you are do doing and dealing with your in your love life or in your work life and home life. Uh, somebody's going to come and uh, you will not have to put extra effort there. They will be ready to bring the balance in your life by sticking around with you in, in 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 this situation in a moment of regret where you're feeling like bad for not being able to kind of like you know maintain a healthy balance in your life i really feel like you know this person comes in and uh, they make you feel like it's okay to be how you are and uh, they are going to be somehow uh, probably the divine counterpart of you, somebody who understands you and be there for you in this situation as well. So I really see it to be somebody completely new. I really don't think it's somebody from the past because I really feel like you know, the past person is going to leave you in this um, uh, month time or they may have uh, already left you. Uh, but yes, I really feel like you, know, you are going to meet someone who is exactly like you. Um, for the majority of you, um, I really feel like, you know, there's a lot of appreciation that you're going to be receiving. Um, I really feel like, you know, for the majority of you, there's somebody coming out for you in your life who's going to love you for who you are and what you do. So 
this is not the boss person. This is not the person that you're currently dealing with. The one that you were dealing with, they might have been having a lot of complaints and arguments around all and everything that you were doing in the connection. Uh, maybe they were not like happy with what you were giving in because they were demanding more. Uh, but with this person, I really feel like, you know, they're going to feel like you are perfect for them. So something like that is coming in for you. I really feel like, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be a person who you are destined to be with. Why? Because um, they don't have any fear. They don't have any doubt. They don't have any complaints. And that's something which is going to flow naturally to the next level. It's time for you to celebrate life, make your life a celebration. I really feel like, you know, there is a lot of love coming your way. And I feel like, you know, this person, whoever is coming in your life, this person is going to be loving you for who you are, which is going to be amazing. So it's time for you to embrace the beloved within your heart, because I really feel like, you know, your love life is going to manifest the way you desire. Probably you wanted your person to be understanding of your situation and they could not. And now the divine is bringing you this person who's going to understand you and your situation. And uh, there is a new start coming in with that person. So I really feel like, you know, for a majority of you, there is a new beginning coming up for you in your love life. And uh, it's coming with the person who is completely new for a majority of you. I really don't think that your past person could understand it. Um, so I really feel like you know, it's a person who's uh, already where you want your specific someone to be. And they are ready and fulfilling, um, uh, ready and uh, prepared to give you and offer your fulfilling connection that you desire to have with your specific someone. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it coming up for you in the month of November. And if it was of help, do like, share, and subscribe. Till I do the next read. Take care. Bye.